Hello and happy Sunday. I am going to take you guys through a grocery haul and a meal prep Sunday for intuitive eating. Now, the whole game plan behind this video is because I'm going to be doing a full day of eating later on this week where I track my macros. And so I just wanted to show you guys what I meal prepped, how I do it, just to kind of get you up to speed for that video, which you'll see later on this week. So let's go into first the grocery haul so you can see what I got. So let's jump into that right now. Let's first start over here. So I got this seafood paella. This is uh, from all from Trader Joe's and Fresh Market. So I saw this seafood paella, never had it before. Um, it is a bunch of seafood. It is rice with shrimp, uh, calamari, mussels, and bell peppers. And I love getting frozen food and then repurposing it and give, giving it more volume. So the macros are super good. It is 4.5 grams of fat and 29 grams of carbs, 13 protein for a cup and a half. So that's really good. There's about, it says two servings in one container. So I'm going to, or in one bag, I'm not gonna make this this week, but I wanted to grab it so I didn't forget. I already have a plan for my menu for this week. So I'm planning on doing this next week and I'm gonna add more shrimp and um, maybe another vegetable probably and then um, some rice cauliflower to give it more volume so I wanted to show you guys that I'm always repurposing frozen food especially from Trader Joe's uh, two boxes of organic jasmine rice this is the rice that we get you just microwave it in three minutes it comes already in a little baggie it is absolutely perfect and now we have our meat so I love this egg white salad from Trader Joe's I just like to add some seasoning to it to make it a little bit more interesting, but I will have this on toast, on a rice cake, in a bell pepper. You have seen this before many times. We have organic chicken breast. We have uh, two packs of it here, um, about a little over a pound in each one. So we're gonna grill that today. And I got this from Fresh Market because I was feeling like a salad today but this also is a marinade so i'm thinking that we're going to marinate the chicken in this double garlic ginger and lime marinade sauce dressing um we have just a small carton of egg whites we're going to get a bigger one today at Publix, but i just wanted to make sure i had some egg whites if we just in case we forgot we have and this is from uh, fresh market a boneless pork tenderloin i'm going to do my crock pot pork tenderloin that I do a, oh, pretty much every week. We didn't do it last week, but we are going to do it this week. It gives us so many leftovers. We're going to have this for dinner Monday and Tuesday, and then this can also be lunch for Brian as well. So I am going to marinate, or not marinate, but cook this in the crock pot with this Korean barbecue sauce. Um, we got this from Fresh Market. I also have seen this at Publix. This is not the Korean barbecue sauce that I usually use for the pork, but I have used it once before and it was delicious. Gluten-free, soy-free, so I love it. And the macros I think are pretty good for one tablespoon. It is one and a half grams of fat, five grams of carbs, so really not terrible. So I'm gonna cook the pork tenderloin in that. And then this stuff is for today, all from Fresh Market. We have a pound and a half of chicken wings that we are going to grill. We're gonna marinate some of them in this double garlic sauce that I just showed you, as well as some barbecue sauce. So we're gonna do half and half. We have um, one big kebab of uh, like peppers, onions, and um, filet mignon. It's already marinated. We just got one big thick kebab of that. And then we have a little um, sashimi seven ounce tuna steak, just one. And I'm gonna sear that up today and probably put it in a salad. I'm really craving a salad. And then this from Trader Joe's, we love this Marsala sauce. This is gonna be dinner on, I think, Thursday night. I'm going to make it with chicken, rice, um, and I'm gonna add, for more volume, this whole like pound I think I think it's a pound yeah 10 ounces of um, mushrooms and asparagus so that is going to be dinner for one night the chicken marsala 
chicken, marsala sauce, mushrooms, and then asparagus, really nice and voluminous. And then we'll have it with some rice. And then, you know, if you wanted it lower carb, you could do half rice, half cauliflower rice, or all cauliflower rice. But I'm probably just gonna do the rice. And I have another, I, I love mushrooms. I, every morning, I have potatoes, egg whites, and mushrooms for breakfast, so I got another thing of mushrooms. I got some tomatoes for my avocado toast, and I also love tomatoes and egg whites. I don't know what it is, just tomatoes and chili lime seasoning and egg whites, it's so good to me. Got some um, more of my favorite mushroom umami seasoning from Trader Joe's. Brian got some pineapple for the morning, um, some cilantro for our pork tacos. I got Brussels sprouts on Wednesday. We're gonna have salmon and Brussels sprouts and butternut squash. I have been on a really big butternut squash kick lately and I love to roast my own. So I will show you that later today. I got three small ones. Um, I got some butter lettuce just for like our tacos. I love to, like my pork tacos. I love to have like a big taco bowl. So I always like to have lettuce on hand just for extra volume because I will make the pork tenderloin that I just showed you, I will put together like a rice bowl, but I like adding some butter lettuce just for more volume. I have bell peppers, I love bell peppers. This is going to be what I cook with the pork in the crock pot. An onion for the crock pot pork. I'm gonna do that Monday, so tomorrow. I have three avocados, because I love avocado toast, and then just avocados for our pork taco bowls as well. Lemon, can never have enough lemon. I just got one big sweet potato because I do have some Japanese sweet potatoes left over in the fridge. So I just got one big one. Uh, Brian's favorite bread from Trader Joe's, a croissant loaf, really flaky and delicious. Um, we got some asparagus, so this is gonna be for the chicken marsala, and then we just got another bunch just, you know, for lunches, just to have a veggie. I'm probably gonna steam that, steam one of them, and then save one for the chicken marsala. Um, stuff for a salad. I don't know why I got to Trader Joe's and I saw these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. I love heirloom tomatoes. And then I turned around, so I saw the tomatoes, and then I saw just, I don't know why this looks so good to me. I don't know why, <laughs> so I'm going with it. So I'm gonna make a salad today. This is just a little mini cucumber small guy that I got to have a salad today, probably with my tuna steak that I'm gonna sear. And then I got some fun sauces. So I always get a water at Trader Joe's, always a big water. And then I saw these at Fresh Market. So I was like really intrigued because this Verde sauce, it has, it was calorie free, it has nothing. So I'm like, okay, I will put this on fucking everything. So I'm really excited to try this. This could even be like a salad dressing, honestly, cause it's like really thin. And then I thought this would be great for like our taco night. So a habanero sauce, this is like a little thicker and it is just two grams of fat for a teaspoon and nothing else. So really, really good. Um, and then some kimchi because I am trying to have kimchi two times a day and Trader Joe's has discontinued their kimchi, but I do really love this kimchi from Fresh Market, mother-in-law's kimchi. And that is the grocery haul. So I'm gonna put all this away. We spent about $200 today, which is more than usual, but that is just because we did do a lot of shopping at Fresh Market, which is not usual for us. We don't usually do Fresh Market, but because it is Ryan's birthday today, we got some specialty things that we don't normally get. So all of this right here, you know, is not normal for us. Um, we usually do not get the pork tenderloin. At Fresh Market, we usually go to our local farmer's market. That is a lot more affordable. And then we usually get our chicken at the farmer's market as well, which is, again, more affordable at the farmer's market. So we just kind of did some things that were a little bit more expensive, but so that's why it cost about $200. But not bad for all of this food. Not 
to shabby, really good, organic, good quality food. So I'm gonna put this away and I will check in with you guys when I start to meal prep some things. Okay, so I have a couple things going right now for meal prep. I'm gonna start on the meat. Now, what we're doing with the meat today is we're grilling it. So I'm going to marinate it. And Brian actually went to Walmart to get Ziploc bags because I want to marinate it in a couple different sauces. So I'm gonna, once he gets back from the store, I will show you the whole meat and what I'm marinating it in. But I do have a couple things already cut right now that I will just walk you through really quickly. I have not seasoned anything yet because I just, you know, I wanted to show you guys. I do have Brussels sprouts that I just cut in half. I have a whole butternut squash that I'm going to cut another one and show you how I do it. It is a lot easier to buy the already cut up chunks of butternut squash, but it tastes so much better when you do it on your own. I swear to God, it's like I, I've been having these for three weeks, four weeks in a row now, and I can't get enough. They're so good when you cook them like straight whole so i'm going to show you that in a second and then i have some potatoes i have japanese sweet potatoes here that i needed to use up in my fridge and then one big sweet potato that you saw i got today and so these are the potatoes that i'm going to make today i might be mixing them with the butternut squash later on in the week i'm not quite sure but i love to always have potatoes on hand because i do eat potatoes every single morning after my workout for breakfast. So the oven right now is on 425 and that is what I'm going to be roasting everything at. But before we put anything in the oven, because I want all of this to cook together at the same time, at the same temperature, because they really all take about 25, this would take about probably 20 minutes, the Brussels sprouts, but the squash and the potatoes are gonna take about 25 to 30. So it's perfect to just throw it all in together. So right now, I want to show you how I cut my butternut squash. I got little small baby ones. It makes it a lot easier to cut when you get the smaller ones. So let me show you what I do. First things first, we're going to cut off the top and the bottom. And then we're just going to cut it right in half. Be careful. I just kind of like seesaw. Now, you can stop here and then just scoop out the seeds with a spoon, which is what I have been doing for the past couple weeks. But it makes it really hard to peel, because I like the butternut squash in like bigger chunks, and it's really hard with the skin on to like get perfect little chunks. So this week, I am going to be removing the skin with a vegetable peeler. Super easy. garbage bowl handy during meal prep because it just makes throwing everything away so easy and then all you do after that is you just scoop out the seeds with a spoon and you're done so yes it does take I don't know three more minutes <laughs> uh, rather than just opening up a bag and pouring it onto your baking sheet but like I said I promise it tastes so much better when you do it like this. All right, now let's season the Brussels sprouts. So I'm gonna spray them with cooking spray. And I just have pink, pink Himalayan sea salt. black pepper and of course garlic uh, not garlic salt garlic powder you cannot have Brussels sprouts in my opinion without some garlic and then I just mix it all together with my hands then that is it I like to flip them all so the cut side is down so they get nice and brown And that is it. 
Here are my potatoes and I'm actually going to season them in the exact same way. Just salt and garlic powder and I'm gonna skip the pepper. I don't need pepper on these. And last but not least, the butternut squash. So this is super simple. I'm just gonna spray. And I am just gonna do some salt on these. And just a little pepper. And then I'm gonna flip them. And since I did take the skins off, I'm just gonna spray one more time and season again. And I'm just keeping these super simple with salt and pepper just because I don't know really what I'm eating these with uh, during the week. So I'm just gonna leave them be. So I'm gonna put everything in the oven at 425. These are gonna cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Potatoes are 25 to 30 minutes and the Brussels sprouts are about 20 minutes. Now for the chicken, I am doing two different sauces. I'm gonna do this honey barbecue sauce. I it was in my fridge and I tried it. I think we just got it at our farmer's market, so I'm sorry, but it is no sugar, all natural. It's only two grams of carbs for a tablespoon and I tried it and it was very, very good. So I definitely want this on some chicken. And then we are gonna try this double garlic, ginger and lime dressing marinade. It's kind of like an all-in-one, super versatile, stir fry, dip, dressing, glaze, marinade type of dressing. So I got this at Fresh Market, which you saw. So I have um, two packs of chicken. Each has two big breasts in it. So I'm just going to marinate one of them. I'm gonna marinate both of these with the different sauces. And I have these big Ziploc baggies. So I'm just gonna put the chicken in, throw the marinade in, put it in the fridge, and we're gonna let that go probably for like four or five hours. And then this is not really part of meal prep, but I'm cooking it today, so I might as well show you. It is Brian's birthday today, so you have already seen his birthday vlog, so you've seen us eating this. So this is what we did to make it. We have chicken wings that we got from Fresh Market, a pound and a half. And then I got him this uh, Earl's Gone Wild California barbecue sauce that we are gonna marinate the chicken wings in for two tablespoons. It is nine carbs and only 230 milligrams of sodium, which is really good. All natural, love it. So I am going to do the same exact thing, throw the chicken wings in a little plastic baggie and marinate them in this sauce, throw it in the fridge, and we're gonna have this for dinner. So it'll marinate, it'll marinate for, I don't know, five-ish hours. Something I wanna point out really quickly about marinating things because Brian did not know this. Uh, so you don't have to use the whole entire marinade when you're marinating. Um, a little goes a long way. So like, you know, I just opened this dressing marinade and that's all I used. Um, I mean, this was already open, but we still have so much left and then we have so much left of this. So like I wanted to show you what I, how much I've used because 
I mean, you don't need to drench and drown the chicken. Like this is just perfect. So what you wanna do, it really works nicely if you have these big hefty Ziploc bags. And then like every hour or so, there's really no science behind it, but just go in the fridge and just kind of like move the chicken around, massage it in the sauce, in the marinade, and you're good to go. You don't need to dump the whole entire thing. And you don't. Um, we've wasted a lot of marinade by doing that, so you do not have to do that. So I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge, and that's it. So that's all I'm doing for my meal prep. It's so easy. Um, I the pork that you saw. That's going to be. I'm gonna put that in the crock pot tomorrow morning around. 6.30 um, and that's gonna be our dinner for Monday and Tuesday and then probably a lunch for Brian Wednesday probably um, we're gonna grill the chicken today and that's gonna be a couple lunches um, I'm making all the potatoes and veggies I'm probably I do have an extra bundle of asparagus that I told you about but honestly I'm just gonna I don't want to make that ahead of time to like prematurely so I'm just going to maybe I can steam that in three minutes if I I need to during the week but that is my meal prep I will show you when everything comes out but that is it because I love making dinners like my pork on Monday that can be repurposed for multiple dinners multiple lunches um, and Brian's you know I work from home so I'm, I'm blessed with that um, you know my lunch this week I'm really into avocado toast right now so that's gonna be my lunches this week is avocado toast and I'll have some chicken on the side from what we grill today but other than that I mean we really don't do much humongous meal preps everything's in the oven at 425 three different things are cooking away that'll be done in 20 to 30 minutes and then we just grill some stuff so that's pretty much it so easy so simple I wanted to just show you a really quick and easy meal prep video to show you what I do nowadays for my meal prep now that I am intuitively eating so once the veggies and potatoes and all that come out of the oven I will show you that and I guess I'll show you the chicken too when it's off of the oven but that's it so uh, we are just gonna hang out like I said it's Brian's birthday so I am gonna just hang out with him I guess I don't even know what time it is right now one o'clock uh, yeah, thanks. We don't really know the time of day. Two o'clock. Oh, shit. It is two o'clock. The clock is finally right now. Cool. We never had to fix it. Um, so we're just going to be hanging out for the rest of the day. I will catch you in a little bit to show you my beautiful food that is so easily prepared. It does not have to be hard. So I know this is not a meal prep thing that I am making, but I wanna show you because I don't have time to put it in Brian's birthday video. So I wanna show it to you now. We are making, I am making tuna steaks. So ahi tuna sashimi steaks. Brian is gonna hold the camera so I can talk really quick. So what you wanna do when you're making ahi tuna is put the pan on really freaking high heat. And I like to just spray it with a little bit of cooking spray. And you wanna use an oil that has a high cooking temperature. Um, I wish I had sesame oil, but I can't, I don't have it right now. So I, and instead of putting the oil on the pan, I'm actually gonna put the oil right on the ahi tuna. Because I want it to have a really nice sear and this is only gonna cook for like, um, like, a minute on each side. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it for like 90 seconds, so like a minute 30, um, because the it's a sashimi grade ahi tuna that we got from Fresh Market, and when you overcook tuna, it gets very very fishy. So when when you want that just like that on each side then you want the middle to be like very very rare and you want to slice it nice and thin like how you get at a restaurant or a Japanese restaurant a sushi place that's what we're going for right now and I am gonna have it with a salad I think Brian might too I'm not sure he told me to make yes him. he will it he like saw what I was making and it looks really good so I why that is searing I just have some spring mix it's a spinach spring mix I have some chickpeas I have beautiful heirloom tomatoes you saw it in my grocery haul and then cucumber and i am going to use this almond butter turmeric salad dressing from trader joe's 
this tastes exactly like the ginger dressing you get at like a hibachi restaurant. So I think it's gonna go really well with the ahi tuna. Come on over here. I am gonna flip and put it on for another 90 seconds. And so I'm gonna let that go for another 60 to 90 seconds and I am gonna just slice it up. So I will see you in the YouTube second when I'm slicing up my tuna. So I actually love to season my salads. I don't know if you guys do this or not, but if you don't season your salad, you're missing out because you just have to think of a salad as food. You season your food, you know? Like I don't ever see people seasoning their salad, but I think everybody should. So I'm gonna do a little salt, pink Himalayan sea salt. And then I have, I'm obsessed. I'm so obsessed with this umami seasoning from Trader Joe's. It just tastes really good. It has like a little kick to it too. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna sprinkle that. And then I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time of this. This is my salad for me. And you can always add more dressing. So I just add a tiny little bit, nothing, you know, crazy because I can always go back and add more. You can't go back and take away. So what I do is I'm not gonna eat it out of this, but I love every single leaf to be covered in dressing and everything and all the ingredients to be covered in dressing. So I get a big Tupperware and I just shake it. All right. And it is beautiful and just perfect. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna get a lemon, probably, you want some lemon, babe? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna add a little kimchi on the side because like I told you guys, I really wanna start eating kimchi twice a day just for probiotics. I'm gonna add a little lemon juice just for added acidity. I need that, I think. I love kimchi. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm. So good. Well, you should be eating 100 grams per, per serving. Mmm! Woo! That is so good, that kimchi. Holy crap. Okay, so the tuna has a nice sear on the outside. I would have liked a little bit more of a sear, but that's okay. I did not want to overcook it. I want it like super rare on the inside. So now I'm just gonna make slices. Oh, it does have a nice crust though. Ooh. That right there, exactly what you want. It's so tender. Oh my gosh, it's like cutting butter. Look at a big meal. Who said salad has to be boring? Brian Sullivan saw what I had and he wanted a salad. So uh, that says a lot, but take a look at my meal. Wow, that looks absolutely perfect. And it took three minutes wow. to put together because all I did was sear the salmon. So I'm gonna put Brian's together and I'm gonna enjoy this delicious salad. Enjoy. Okay, so here is all my meal prepped stuff, all finished. So this is the butternut squash, and I just chopped it into nice big chunks. So yummy, I'm so excited for that. <laughs> you have no idea, I'm obsessed. And then my Brussels sprouts, I love how brown they get. That's why I put the cut side down. And they actually were done in, I think it was like 16 minutes at 425. And then my potatoes. So meal prep is done and we still have the chicken in the fridge. So um, we're just gonna grill that up and that is pretty much it. So that is it for meal prep. So easy, the only thing left to cook is our chicken on the grill, which we're gonna do a little bit later. It is 
4.30 right now. So we're probably gonna do the chicken on the grill around 6, 6.30 when we cook up everything else for dinner. Um, I'm not gonna bother showing you outside in the grill. I think um, I'm gonna throw that into Brian's birthday video. So you probably already saw that, to be honest, if this video comes out after. So really quick and easy meal prep. That's all I do nowadays now that I am intuitively eating. My pork, crock pot pork, I'll make tomorrow. That'll feed us for a couple days and then these will be our lunches and everything like that. So I hope you liked this video. I hope you got some new recipe ideas. Maybe try that salad. Brian cannot stop talking about how good that salad was. <laughs> he like is mind blown and the tuna was so good. It was literally perfect. I did, the, I seared it on the first side for 90 seconds and then I flipped it and I seared that for 60 seconds and took it off and it was done nice and pink in the center so so good so i'm gonna go spend the rest of the day with brian please let me know if you guys like this video if you want to see more of my meal preps more recipes comment below let me know what you want to see and of course always like and subscribe so i keep doing videos for you i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye